And I had all these expectations after reading, you know, these Harlequins about how that first kiss was going to be. And I had my first kiss in, in uh, co I'm sorry, in high school. And it was so funny. It was at the end of the prom. It was a senior prom for him. I was like, a, I think a freshman. And we're at the door and I'm thinking, okay, this is just going to be like the books. It's just going to be like what I read. And next thing I know, like his lips are coming towards me and there's this pressing like this going on. And it was over. And at the end, I went in the house and I, I ran to the bathroom and I'm like crying. It's like, this is what I waited for. This is what I waited for. And, you know, I washed my mouth out with soap and that was that. So I met my first boyfriend in college and I thought, oh my gosh, I like him. And we're getting ready to do the first kiss thing again. And I'm thinking, okay, hopefully this will be different. It'll be like what I read in, in the books. And so I'm kissing him and I'm thinking, this is going much better. And he pulls back and he goes, Rochelle, he said, this is my tongue and this is your tongue. And the purpose is for both of these tongues to meet. He said, do you want to try again? And I thought, hell no, I don't want to try again, but I did. I don't write about real things that happen. I write about um, things I make up, you know, things that, you know, in my imagination strikes, you know, whatever strikes my imagination. But occasionally something's triggered by a real life event. And for example, Sin Club, there's a story in there um, that was triggered by something real. I was in San Francisco standing out in front of a club and this guy drives by and he drives by and he yells out his number. And he's like, call me, call me. I'm standing there thinking, what woman in their right mind is going to call some guy that yells his number out on a drive-by? And I'm like, oh, what kind of woman? That's it. And that became Cherise in Sin Club. I also get the question, do I write about real men? You know, and usually guys will ask that question. And, you know, that's like when I imagine people that get a tattoo that says, you know, I love Johnny on their arm and they're stuck with Johnny for the rest of their life when Johnny's no longer a part of their life. So I look at that in writing. No, I don't write about real men in my books because I have to promote this book for the rest of my life and I don't want to look at that book and think of Johnny who's long gone. What does my family think about, you know, what about what I write? And it's interesting because my mom picked up Sex Lounge and she started reading it and she said, Honey, you know, this is really good, but does it have to have so much sex? My dad, on the other hand, hasn't picked it up in terms of reading it, but he took a look at it and said, Oh, Rochelle, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I'm going to go tell everyone at work to read your book and buy it. And I thought, Dad, you might want to read it first or, you know, before you like go take it to work. And my sister is like my number one cheerleader. She hands out my flyers, my bookmarks and everything, goes into bookstores and says, hey, that's my sister's book. And she buys books to support me. And my brother is really funny. He tells people that I write um, self-help books. So I don't know where he got that, but I guess you could consider my book self-help.